Hello everyone, my name is Confident and in this video, I'd like to show you how to manage pages in your applications using the new page settings feature on AppSmith. So right here, we have an application that has two pages. We have the home page, which is the data page that displays user data. And we also have a second page here, which is the registration page that has a simple form to allow users to sign up. So to manage these pages, I can use a new page settings feature and that can be accessed using the gear icon we have here on this screen. So I'm just going to click on this and taking a look at this, we have the page settings opened up. So the first thing I can do here is to rename the pages to describe their functionality. So for the home page, I can easily rename this to say something like data uh, because it's the data page. And for the second page, which is the registration page, I can update this to say registration and we have registration showing up right there. I can also reorder the pages we have on the application. So say for example, I want the registration page to come before the data page. So I can easily drag this and change the order. And you can see that the order has also been updated on the Entity Explorer um, by the side of the application. And when this application is deployed, users will also see the registration page before the data page. But one small issue we have right now is that the data page is set to the home page. So let's go ahead to update the registration page to be the home page. This means that when users visit the application, they'll see the registration page first before any other page on the application. So that has been set to default. And we can also go to set the visibility of this page by toggling it on or off. So when the page settings visibility is disabled, users would not be able to see that page when the application is deployed. So this is very useful in situations where a page is still under development and you do not want users to have access to that page yet until you are done developing that page. We also have the option to duplicate a page. So I'm just going to click on the copy button right here and you see that we have a duplicate of the registration page. This is going to have all of the widgets, settings, API calls, DB queries, all of the configurations of the original page from the registration page duplicated into the second page. And as well, we can delete this copy by clicking on the delete button and we have that deleted. So this is the page settings feature on AppSmith. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.